this video is about getting your data or someone's data back onto a display on your PC using C Sharp and Live Charts. If you want to watch that, stick around. And as usual, hit that like button if you find this video good. Dislike button if you thought it was just garbage. And uh, subscribe for more video like this. Alright, this is going to be a bit more of a cut and paste show rather than you watching me just type everything out. Look, I understand that's probably not the best way of learning it, but it's going to be the fastest way to get through the video. First, you need to create a blank WPF project. So you need to call it something. It won't matter. Alright, I'm going to just quickly change the heights of this, just make it a square. Alright, first thing we're going to do is add the live charts uh, library from the NuGet packages. So you browse. Live charts. There you go, WPF, get that one, hit install. Again, I'll skip through this. Once it comes up to this section, you know that it's done. All right, so you close that off, you don't need it. Close this off, you don't need it. All right, we'll do the XAML first. We'll get the presentation going. So let's get in here. Let's get some of this. First, right above this, you need to add, add some uh, XLMS. So I'm just going to copy it straight in. Without that line, nothing will work. It'll just won't work. All right. So what I'm going to do is have uh, two rows with a heading and then a little uh, you know, gauge. So I'm going to copy into the XAML what I want it to look like. And then I'll explain through what it does. So, just quickly go through the go through the XAML. Now you've got uh, the main window. Let's just call that IoT. Okay, so that's what it's going to be written across the top. Now, two row definitions. That gives you two rows to go. All right, I'll put uh, a view box in there and a label inside that. That way, you know, as you grow it. It's going to, you know, stay in proportion. Now this bit here is for the live charts. Now, the, all these here, these three lines, they represent the colour and the, how far it goes over before it changes the colour. So you play with those and you can change the look. Alright. Um, maximum, minimum to max. So that's going to be zero, that's 50. Uh, location of where it is up here. Um, I might make a future video and you know talk about how you can set up different ones of these, like the bar charts, the, the graphs, but uh, the gauge is probably the easiest to start off with. So I'll move on to the code. All right, first I'm going to paste in some of the, the namespace usings. So straight up here. So these are all the ones that we're going to need. Alright, so give yourself a couple more lines. Now 
Now these ones here, they're going to be some strings that we're going to use later on. We're going to have a timer, so I need to put in the timer. Okay. All right, a lot of, you're going to get a lot of errors until I've got all the code in. I'm going to add a timer tick. And I'll read through the timer tick. So, all right, these three lines here, they form a URL string. Now, this 308573, now that is the public channel that you want to request the, request the data from. This here, this results one. Now what that does is that gra grabs the last line of data in that channel. All right, now this, puts, this one here quickly puts it all together. This bit here, this creates a web request, so this goes off, grabs the data, brings it back, right? and then down here, this is looking for field one, and then what it's doing is it's um, grabbing the field one and then plus so many so many digits. Then I'm converting it to a double and making the gauge set to that double. So let's run it and see how it works. All right, so it's going to take 30 seconds to go through and get the first bit of data. And then every 30 seconds after it, goes, checks again, and updates. So wherever this channel is, it's 21.1 degrees. And I've set the bar chart to that. All right, if this video helped you, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, come back again and watch some more videos.